So once you're happy with your VAT return, go back to the VAT module by clicking on Company, and at the top left, click Manage VAT. Click VAT Return at the top left, that icon. Put the period in as before. Click Calculate as before, and then click Yes when it asks to include other transactions. So if you're happy, click Reconcile, which is this button here, it's the third button, and on the bottom. It will ask you a confirmation or ask you to confirm that you want to reconcile. It will say something like flag transactions for VAT or reconcile transactions for VAT. Click yes and your VAT will then be reconciled and will appear on this list on the VAT module. If it's the first VAT return you've done, it will be the first one at the top. If you've done some before, it will be the VAT return at the bottom or should be the one at the bottom depending on how you're filtering the information so this is the one that I've done today or I did today 0102 2013 to the 30th of April 2013 under period you have a return number and then you have the amount now you think that you think you may think that may be done now on Sage, everything may be complete, but you actually have to transfer this information over to Sage into the nominal ledger. So highlight the VAT return that you have completed, click VAT transfer, so this icon here, the second icon along, click yes. It then asks you to select your VAT liability account, which is 2202. If you have made some changes to, to Sage and you've changed the VAT liability account, you'll have to use the drop down menu and find it. Um, otherwise, if you haven't made any changes to Sage to the VAT liability account, it will be 2202. So once you're happy with that, click next. So find your code. If it's not 2202, click next. We'll then ask you for the date that the VAT return was completed and um, which will be today's date by default but you can date it the last date or the VAT quarter if you like it makes things a bit tidier if you do it that way click next then give you a, a summary ask you to check the details it just shows you the journal that it will post to Sage if you do have some bookkeeping experience this will make a lot more sense to you than someone who doesn't click post go to company if you go to your VAT liability code which is 2202 you'll find that that amount of your VAT return has been booked to this code so if I go into activity here we go so I have 1467 debited to the VAT liability, 1137 credited. The difference between those two is how much HMRC owes me, or the difference between those two for the majority of your returns should be how much you owe to HMRC. Now, when you've made that payment to HMRC, to record that through your bank, you would just do a payment put in the date the payment was put in a reference for the nominal code it will be the VAT liability account for details you could put VAT quarter and then put the quarter in so Feb to April 2013 put in the amount and then your tax code will be T9 obviously there's no VAT on payments you're making for VAT click save and then that will come off your VAT liability and your nominal ledger now I do understand that I've been through a lot in these videos um, and if you don't have much bookkeeping experience there may have been some things you have been confused about in these videos if so please don't hesitate to contact me and I'll help you as much as I can um, info at bpfs on hyphen online.com 
Thank you so much for watching, much appreciated.